Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, Sin Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step, step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long-term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also. And I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, How to Make a Man Beg for Your Attention. Right, ladies? So you want a man to chase up after you. You want a man to actively pursue you. You want a man to see you over all the rest of the women that's chasing up after him. You want that man to notice you over any other woman and he's the one actually chasing up after you, right? And you want this man to be wrapped around your finger. You want this man to be eating out the palm of your hands. You want this man to really want you and crave you and desire you really bad, right? You like, how do I get this man just attached to me? How do I get this man just sprung over me? Like he just can't get enough of me. Like he just addicted to the type of woman that you are, right? You want this man to really be on you like white on rice. You want this man to be attached to you, you know, just wanting you real bad. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, you may want this man to, you know, chase up after you because you say, see, I'm a woman. I'm not about to be the chaser. I do not believe in chasing a man. You know what I'm saying? I believe that a woman should be the one chased, see, you know? And, you know, I get you, right? You don't want to be the chaser. You don't want to be chasing down a man, being a pick me, pick me, pick me. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. Let me cook. Let me clean. Let me give you my body. Let me give you my money. Let me give you my time. Let me give you my energy. Let me give you everything to show you that I'm a good woman and break your neck and break your back for a man that might not even like you or might not even appreciate all of your nice gestures and everything that you do for him. Like he might take you for granted. He might take advantage of you, stuff like that. So you say, okay, see, I just want the guy to come to me. I don't want to be the chaser. You know, maybe a lot of you women or some of you women, you know, maybe you were the one that was always chasing a man or maybe you have chased a man or maybe some guys in your past, you was the chaser. 
You was the initiator. You was the one always calling. You was the one always texting. You was the one always, when can I see you? When can we hang out? When can we just kick it, you know? And this man, he always turned you down or he responded back to you super late. He didn't pick up his phone when you called him. He was just inconsistent, you know, playing a lot of games and stuff like that. And you was just tired of it. And you tired of being the initiator. You tired of being a chaser. You're tired of being the pursuer. You're tired of just going after a man and he don't even like you. And you feel like you're doing all this work for nothing. So you say, Sid, I'm done. I'm tired. I just want to remain in my feminine energy and relax and allow the man to come to me. Right, Sid? So I get you. Again, I get you. And I understand that a lot of women, you know, you don't want to be the chaser. You want the man to chase you. You want the man to pursue you because it's so much easier when the man is pursuing you and you don't be the one breaking your neck. He the one breaking his neck, breaking his back to impress you. And that feel a lot better when you got somebody else doing stuff for you and you don't really have to, you know, break your neck to impress them, you know, and they don't even like you like that. But, you know, when they come to you, it's easier because now you got the power and now you can say, okay, do I like this man or not? And, of course, he does nice gestures for you and he does nice things for you and stuff like that. So, you know, he'll be trying to impress you, trying to prove himself to you, trying to prove his worthiness to you to show you that he is a good man and that he's serious about making you his wife one day, right? So he gonna do everything he can to get you and everything he can to keep you. So you say, Sid, how do I even get to that point though, right? Okay, ladies, I'm gonna give you my top five. Yes, five ways how you can make a man beg for your attention, make him chase you, make him attached to you, make him attracted to you, make him just want you and desire you and just see you over a crowd of women. He sees you and picks you out of everybody, right? So we're going to jump right into this video, right? And we're going to go to number one. So number one, the first way how you as a woman, how you can make a man beg for your attention and to chase up after you and want you really, really bad is you want to always look good around him. So if you are trying to attract the guy that you want, if you want that guy to notice you, because guess what? Men be paying attention. And they want, and the number one thing that men pay attention to is what you look like. That's the number one attraction. Because guess what? I don't know nothing about you. I don't know nothing about this woman, but when I first see her is what I'm attracted to. You know what I'm saying? So every time this man see you, whenever your crush or the guy that you like, the guy that you're interested in, the guy whose attention you're trying to get, you want to make sure every time he see you, whether it's online, on Instagram, on dating apps, or whatever y'all use, whatever, you know, or whether it's in person Whenever this guy sees your profile or he sees you in person, you want you you want yourself to always look good around him. Now, you ain't got to look like you going to prom or nothing, like you ain't got to throw on a ballroom gown like you going to the like you going to the award shows on the red carpet somewhere. You ain't got to do all that, but you want to look decent, you want to look presentable, you want to look nice. You know what I'm saying? At least look nice to wear you know, this man, he can see you visually and men are hunters, right? And men are very visual. So first, before I even want the prey, I got to see the prey, like the prey, and then hunt the prey, right? So first, he got to see the prey. Once he see you, now he got to identify if he like you or not based off of, you know, what you look like, how beautiful you are, or how nice your body is. You know, how nice your, you know, curves are, how nice your outfit fits on you, you know, bright colors, you know, bright colors are something that really gets a man's attention. Like when you wear bright colors, like a bright orange or a bright yellow or a hot pink or, you know, a red or a light blue, you know, throw some colors, some purple, you know, light purple, you know what I'm saying? Throw some colors on, you know, a lot of women 
you go in your closet, you just black, 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 navy blue, black, 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 navy blue, navy blue, white, white, black, 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 you know? And you don't have no color. It ain't no vibrant. It ain't no, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just regular, you know? And it get kind of dull and depressing, you know? But when a man see you and you got on that, that orange dress on or something, or like an orange shirt or, you know, just something that pop, a, a light green jacket, you know, something that pop, you know what I'm saying? That look good, it fits you well, and it's like stylish, whatever. A lot of times that catch a man's attention too. So when he see you, he's like, oh, okay, I see you. Because those bright colors just, just magically get your attention. In a whole room, you just light up the whole room. You know what I'm saying? And then you just you just want to look good. So just look presentable. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to get super dolled up with your makeup and all that. But, you know, if you wear makeup, then you wear it. You know what I'm saying? If you... If you feel more comfortable just, you know, bare-faced or whatever, then that's cool, too. You know what I'm saying? If you don't feel like putting a whole lot of makeup on and you just naturally, and you feel like, you know, your natural face, cool, whatever. You know, do what you do. If you want to put on a little makeup, do what you do. But whatever you feel comfortable in, do that. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your hair done. You know what I'm saying? When you around this man, because, you know, men be looking, too, you know, to see, like, is her hair done? Is she on point? Is she looking good? You know what I'm saying? Because she looking good and she take care of herself, then I know that it's a certain standard to this woman. And, you know, and, and that's the standard that she set for herself, you know? But if he looking at a woman and she looking busty and crusty and disgusted, you know what I'm saying? He might not really be attracted to you because your hair all messed up or because, you know, you just, you know, your clothes ain't fitting right or, you know, you just, you know, whatever. You ain't put no type of, you know, effort into what you look like. It's like you don't even care. Like you just rolled out of bed, you know? And while that's okay for certain situations, you know, like if you going, you know, if you just going out, you know, if you're just going to run some errands or you're going to do some whatever, you know, I get it. You know, not everybody is dressed up all the time. But when you see this man on Instagram or when you see this man in person or on Facebook, whatever, you know, you want to make sure that when he see you, you looking good and you looking at least decent to where, you know, you at least look cute, at least look decent, at least look presentable you know what i'm saying now you know what you do on your off days or whatever you know you go run some errands real quick that's fine but when he see you when he catch you make sure you not slacking make sure he see you and you like whoa look at this beautiful woman she look good you know she she all dolled up you know what i'm saying she got a nice bright outfit on she look good she caught my attention her hair done she smell good Oh, what's up with her? Oh, man, I love, man. Yeah, you know, because he's seeing you. He identifying you. Your body look good. Your face pretty. He like, okay, yeah, okay. Let me see what's up with her. Because that's the first level of attraction is when a man just sitting back looking like, dang, she look good. Okay, all right. You know, so so before he even want to talk to you, he already noticed you just off, off the rip and pay... And keep in mind, men pay attention to a lot of stuff. You know, they looking you head to toe like, okay, let me see if she on point. Let me see what she looking like. You know, just like you look at him up and down, like, you know, you try to make sure he on point. He want to make sure that, you know, you look on point too. And men are very visual, right? So just make sure that you always look good and don't let him catch you slacking, right? At least around him, okay? So that's number one. So number two. The second way, how you as a woman, how you can make a man beg for your attention and to chase up after you and want you really, really bad is you absolutely cannot be like those other women, right? So do not be like those other women. If you want to stand out from the crowd, you got to stand out from the rest of the crowd. So, you know, you as a woman, you say, Sid, how do I stand out? It's a lot of beautiful women out there. It's a lot of talented women out there. It's a lot of women that got their stuff together. Do you know? They financially, you know, stable. You know, they, they really doing their thing out here, right? So you may feel like it's hard to compete in a world with a lot of 
beautiful, talented women, you know? But you got to understand that a lot of those women are being, you know, pick me, pick me, pick me. Let me show you what I can do, you know? Let me cook for you. Let me clean for you. Let me give you sex. Let me give you everything you want, everything you need. Let me, let me do whatever, you know? Let me rub your back. Let me do whatever. Let me feed you, you know? Let me give you money. Let me do anything to get your attention. Anything, anything, right? And you may say, Sid, how can I compete with women like that? Those women are so thirsty for him. Those women are so desperate for him. Those women chase him so bad. Like, they all up in his face, right? Those women all up in his face. How do I get him to notice me if all those other women are all in his face blinding him? And how is he going to see me, right? But it's the exact opposite of what you think. Because while all those women are in front of his face and chasing the bath to him... A lot of times, those men do not respect those women that chase up after them like that. They don't respect them at all. How can a man respect a woman that's chasing him and willing to do anything and everything to get his attention? He know it. He know he's sitting back, look at this woman. You know, she trying so hard to get my attention. She willing to spend her whole paycheck on me. She willing to give me booty whenever I want it. She willing to cook and clean and do anything I want. And we just met. You know what I'm saying? I just met this woman and she willing to give me everything. Like, like I've been her husband of 10 years. You know what I'm saying? She doing everything for me. And she really trying to showcase and prove herself to me. So a lot of those guys, they sit back. They like, hmm, okay. You willing to do whatever for me. Let me use you and let me, you know, take, take, take from you. And let me manipulate you. If you're going to volunteer, you know, a lot of these women, you know, they volunteer to be used. A lot of women volunteer to be used. They say, you know, let me let me cook for you. Let me do this. Let me do that. What you need me to do? What you need me to do? Anything around your house you need me to do? You know, I can do this. I can do that. Right? And this man, he not going to say no. He not going to turn down free booty. He not going to turn down free money. He not going to turn down free emotional support. Just whatever he can get up out of you, he not going to turn that down. So he going to use a lot of those women just because he can. You Y'all throwing yourself at me. Why not use y'all? Why not? You know, y'all keep, y'all willing to do whatever for me. Why not? Now you may say, Sid, that's so wrong. Why do men do that? That's so wrong for those, for those women that do chase them. They just be using them, right? But a lot of women, you know, you got to be honest. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys, you know that you can use your beauty. A lot of women, you you realize that at a young age, at a young age as a little girl, you can use your beauty or just the fact that you are a woman as a female or, or a girl, whatever. The fact that you're female, period, and the fact that, you know, you are attractive, especially you were able to manipulate boys and men into doing pretty much anything you wanted them to do or they offered to do anything for you. Even to this day, you probably got guys that, let me take you out, let me buy you this, let me take you here, let me do this, let me pay all your bills, let me do this, let me do that, let me fly you here, let me take you here, let me do this, let me do that. You got guys to this day willing to do anything for you just to get to you, just because they want, they just want to be around you. So they willing to spend whatever, do whatever, be whatever, just to be next to you. And maybe you as a woman, it may or may not have crossed your mind or it may be easy, you know, to actually take advantage of some of those men because it may be too easy. It's like you offering so if you're going to offer to pay all my bills, are you going to offer to take me here or take me on this date, fly me here, buy me this, do that? Who am I to say no? Who am I to just, you know, deny all this? If you're going to just offer, then I'm going to just take it, right? So just like how a lot of women, you know, you take nice gestures from men that you may not particularly be all they interested in. You may not all the way like them, but they offering to spend a little money on you or take you wherever, do whatever. So you're like, eh, 
I guess, you know, I'll take it. Whatever you offering, I guess. So a lot of those men, they do the same thing. They like, hey, if you offering to give me that booty, if you offering to cook and clean and wash my drawers for me, why would I say no? Why would I deny that? Why would I, you know, tell you no? You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to tell you no for that. I'm going to allow you to do it because, you know, that's cool. If you want to do it, you offering, why would I stop you? So that's the mentality that a lot of men have when it comes to those women that's desperate and thirsty and needy and just got to have this man. Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. I'll do anything, your highness, anything. So that man, a lot of times, again, he do not respect those women. He walk all over them, use them and just take from them. And then that's it, you know, and that's all it is. But you, the way how you stand out is you don't do none of that. You got to be the exact opposite of what those other women are and what those other women do. Those other women all in his face. Look at me. Look at me. Pick me. Pick me. Look what I can do. You can't be like that. You got to sit back and you got to just be you, be pretty, be feminine, you know, be in your own zone. Don't even be in his face. Don't even be all over him, you know? If you around this man and he got a whole flock of women just around him, women just flocking to him all up in his face, you know, hey, 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 giving him hugs and stuff. You be that girl off to the side just chilling, you know, don't even worry about it. Because guess what? While he getting all that attention from all the other women, he going to be looking at you like, why don't I have her attention over there? That girl over there sitting by herself or that girl right there. You know, she, she, you know, she talked to me here and there or, you know, or, you know, you know, we have little small interactions, but she don't really show me all that attention or she not all on me. She not, you know, thirsty and desperate and chasing the best of me like these other women. What's up with her? Why ain't she chasing the best of me? That girl over there, why she sitting by herself? Why she don't see me? Why she ain't gave me a hug today like all the rest of these girls? Why she ain't all in my face chasing me, asking for my number, or wanting to hang out with me like these other women? Why she not begging for my attention like these other women? You know what I'm saying? What's up with her? Let me get her attention. Let me make her want me like these other women want me. All the women are supposed to want me. So why don't she want me? Why she don't pay me a whole bunch of attention? Why she act like, you know, she could care less or she just, you know, nonchalant. She not really all in my face like these other women are. She kind of off to herself, kind of, you know, just be chilling in her own little world. And, you know, she acknowledged me here and there, but she not all in my face, you know, so I got to get her on me. I got to get her attached to me. What's up with her? I want her. I got to get her. So that's exactly when this man start locking his eyes on you. Because now you the prey now. Because them other girls, he like, I already got them. It ain't no fun. Men are hunters, right? You got you to gotta think like this. Men are hunters. So if the prey, if all these prey already came to me, it's no fun. It's no thrill. It's, it's, it's nothing. I can already have all these women. All these women is so easy. All these women throw themselves at me. It's booty here, booty here, booty here. It's too easy. I can get it whenever. It's too easy. But her over there, she, I want that booty over there. Why, why she ain't giving me that booty like all these other women is? Why she ain't drooling all over me? And trying to break her neck, trying to talk to me. Why she ain't hugging all over me, trying to get some attention. Why she ain't asking me for my number. Or why she ain't, you know, trying to trying to make contact, trying to make, you know, conversation with me. What's up with her over there? So that's when this man get, get attracted to you. And he start getting curious of you. And he start thinking to himself, what's up with her? Let me go see what's up. So that's when he lock in on you and now you're the, and now, and now he's chasing them after you because now you're the prey. So now he chasing them after you, which is fulfilling his masculinity as the hunter, right? So now he gets a chance to fulfill his job and his duty as a chaser and a hunter to chase you because of other women, they took the job away from him. 
The other women, you know, he can't chase them. He can't hunt them because them women too busy hunting him and chasing him. So, so they, so they took his job away from him. So it's no fun. But with you, it's more fun because he get a chance to really, you know, chase you and get you, and he wants you so bad because you know you not so easy to get and you not so easily impressed, right? So that's what a lot of men. That's what they, you know, that's the woman that they really respect, and that's the woman that they chase and go after a lot of times is the woman that's not all the way all up in his face and drooling all over him. So when you see other women all up in his face doing extra, don't even pay him no mind. You know what I'm saying? Just you just be in your own little world and watch. He gonna be. He going to see you over all the other women. He going to be like, forget them. I already can have them whenever. I want her. I want the one that I can't get. You know what I'm saying? I want the one that's hard to get. You know, the easy girls, yeah, they easy, but whatever. You know, I want the one that's, that's harder to get because that's it's more meaningful. It's more valuable if it's harder to obtain. You know what I'm saying? And he appreciate it more when he have to actually work hard to get it instead of it just coming so easy like them other women, right? So that's number two. So number three, the third way how you as a woman, how you can make a man beg for your attention and want you so bad and crave for you is you want to always keep your options open. So, you want to keep your options open. So, even if you and this guy, you know, y'all start, you know, dating, y'all start talking, y'all in the talking stage, stages, getting to know each other, y'all may have went on y'all first date, first couple dates, you know, maybe it's the first few weeks, you know, maybe it's the first couple months, you know what I'm saying? Maybe first, maybe first one, two, maybe even three months, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere around there. Or maybe first few weeks, first few dates, whatever. Y'all in the beginning talking stages. It's no relationship. Y'all just talking, right? Y'all just dating, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, in the talking dating stage, you know, in that area, you are still single. If this man has not made you his girlfriend, has not called you his girlfriend, asked you to be his girlfriend... Or verbally said, you are my girlfriend, I am your boyfriend, and we are in an exclusive relationship with each other, and it is official between us, then you are still single. If you are still single, you should still be exploring your options. You should not be committing and throwing all your eggs in one basket and being faithful to a man that hasn't even put a title on you or committed himself to you or a man that's not even your man. He not your man yet. You know, I know it may start to feel like y'all getting that, y'all y'all moving in that direction, but he has not put no title on you yet. So if he ain't put no title on you yet, you're still single. So don't be committing yourself and don't be being faithful to a man that's not your man. That don't make sense. A lot of women, y'all be trying so hard to be faithful to a man and you won't talk to no other guys. You'll cut off all the other guys you was talking to and you'll just focus on one guy and he ain't even made you his girl yet. He not even your man. He has not claimed you. He ain't called you his girl. He ain't did no moves yet. But you committed yourself to him. But guess what? He ain't committed himself to you. A lot of times this man, he's still running around with all them other women. You know, he's still running around with all them other chicken heads and them hoochie mamas and the hood rats, right? He's still hanging out. He's still hanging out with the hood rats. And then, you know, he come back to you. But then as soon as you find out about the other girls, about the hood rats, First thing to come out his mouth is, but we ain't together. You know, this ain't no relationship. We ain't together. We, we just doing our own thing. Blah, blah, blah. I don't have no commitment to you. I don't have nothing with you. You know what I'm saying? We got a bond, but you know, I'm still single. We, you know, whatever. Right? So before anything, you are still single. So do not let a man talk you into being exclusive and only dating him and only talking to him 
and only, you know, being around him and throwing all your eggs in one basket, do not let a man talk you into being exclusive before he makes you his girlfriend. You tell that man, I, I will only talk to you when you make me your girl. When you make me your girl, then I'll cut off all the other guys, right? But until then, nah, you know, I'm going to keep my roster up just like you probably going to keep your roster up. Now, if you want me, then you going to come, then you got to come get me. If you don't come get me, guess what? It's going to be somebody else going to take your spot, player. You know what I'm saying? I got a whole roster of men that want me. And and guess what? It's competition. You want to let that man know. Don't you ever be scared. You got to let that man know, hey, it is competition. Yes, I'm dating other guys. Yes, it is other guys that want me. You not the only guy that want me. You not the only guy that, that got their eye on me. It's other guys that want me real bad. And they willing to do a lot of stuff to get me. Now, if you want me, then you're going to have to compete and may the best man win. You, If you want me, you're going to have to apply some pressure. You're going to have to, you know, show up and show out. And you're going to have to prove to me that you are serious about, you know, being my husband and me being your wife. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not, then guess what? It's other guys in line that's willing to take your spot. And you got to say it just like that. You got to let every man that you ever date from now on, they got to know, hey, it's competition. And guess what? It's other guys that want me. So when a guy asks you, a guy, he might just ask you, hey, so are you dating anybody or are you talking to anybody or, you know, or what you doing right now? You tell that man, yes, I'm actively dating and I'm dating with a purpose to find my husband, you know, so I'm dating around to see what I like, what I don't like for the best fit for me, you know, and you're not going to throw all your eggs in one basket. You're not going to commit yourself to a man that's unsure about you or hasn't even made you no type of commitment yet. You know, when he makes a commitment with you, then he could be exclusive. Then y'all could be exclusive because, you know, those are the benefits that come with being boyfriend, girlfriend is I don't talk to nobody else. You don't talk to nobody else. That's the point of boyfriend, girlfriend, right? I don't talk to nobody else. You don't talk to nobody else. But if we just dating and we just talking, I'm free to do what I want to do. Just like that man, he free to do what he want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't have no commitment. Y'all don't have no title. Y'all don't have nothing. Y'all just dating, you know? So you are still free to do what you want to do. Now that man, he probably not going to like that. It's going to be a lot of men. They might not like that. They might say, what? I'm supposed to be the only guy that, that wants you. Or I'm supposed to be the only guy that's supposed to swoop in and just get you and no competition. And I just, I just win. Nah, it don't work like that. Other people want me. So if you want me, you going to have to compete and you going to have to work to get me. Because guess what? Hey, it's other guys that, that want that spot. You know, now that guy really wants you and he not no chicken, you know what I'm saying? And he not scared then and he not intimidated by other guys and he not weak and he not soft. Then he going to look at that like, oh, that's a challenge. Oh, I'm better than all these other guys. These other guys that you dating, they ain't got nothing on me. So that's how you know when you dealing with a confident guy, when he confident, and he know what he bring to the table, he not even going to trip off that competition. A real man, when, when you tell him, yeah, I'm dating other guys, you know, other guys want me, blah, blah, blah. He going to be like, that's cool. Hey, I ain't worried about the other guys. I'm worried about me and I know what I can bring to the table and I'm better than all them guys that you probably dating. So you going to like me anyways. And you know what? I'm going to show you why you should like me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to prove to you, hey, you know, I'm that top, I'm the top dog around here. Other, any other guy that you're talking to, they can't even compete with me, you know? And then you get all the benefits because now he's chasing them after you because now it's competition. You got to understand men are hunters, right? So with hunting comes competition because I might have some prey that I see and I want that prey. 
and another lion, you know, might want that same prey. You know, I'm a lion and I want a prey. You know, I want that 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 gazelle, that deer. You know, I'm hiding out in the bushes, and it's another lion over there that want the same prey, and he's looking too. So I gotta beat him and get the prey before that other lion get the prey, right? So that is when his 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 animalistic, natural, masculine instincts kick in, and now he wants to chase and hunt and compete and conquer and win you and yeah you know and that's and that's the whole thing he want to chase you and get you and now he and now you become even more attractive to him because now he know other guys want you so now you're pre-selected so now i know other guys want you you gotta be very valuable if a whole bunch of guys want you right it's just like a restaurant if you go to a restaurant and you see the line, the drive through line jam-packed around the corner, down the street somewhere, you're going to be like, wow, that restaurant is popping. Everybody going to that restaurant, that restaurant must have some really good food. You know, if everybody going to that restaurant and that restaurant got a line all the way around the corner, down the street, they must really like that food. That food must be really good. It must be a really popular you know, restaurant. But let's just say that restaurant don't have nobody. Let's say it's a restaurant. It don't got nobody in it. Ain't nobody in the drive through Ain't nobody barely parked there but the workers. And that's it. You know, you might go to that drive through or you might pass up, you know, that restaurant. And you might be like, I don't even know if I even want to go here because ain't nobody else here. Are they even open? I don't even know if this restaurant even open because ain't nobody here for real, you know? So it make you sometimes less likely to want something that don't nobody else want. But when somebody or when a lot of people want it, it make you want it more just because other people find it attractive or desire it, right? So it's the same concept. So you become instantly more attractive to confident men. Now, if a man is not confident and a man is insecure and he's intimidated and he's a little weak crybaby little boy, then, of course, he going to be scared and he going to chicken out and he going to be like, oh, I don't want to talk to you. You got other guys that want you and I know I can't compete. He's not going to tell you that, but I'm going to tell you the real reason why he don't want to compete. He going to be like, I don't want to compete because I ain't got enough money. I'm not, I'm probably not tall enough. I'm probably not handsome enough. I probably don't got enough to compete with the type of guys that she is able to get. You know, I know she's able to get a, a caliper of men and I don't fit that description. So I'm just going to back out and I don't, I'm not even going to try because I know those other guys are better than me. So if a guy chicken out and a guy feel like, you know, I don't want to talk to you because you got competition, that's because he know he don't got nothing else to offer you and he know he can't compete with no other guys. But if a guy is confident and he know his value and he know what he brings to the table, he going to say, man, I'm not worried about them other guys you dating. I'm up. You going to like me. And, you know, I'm going to show you why you should like me. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be number three, right? That's number three. So number four, the fourth way how you as a woman, how you can make a man beg for your attention and want you and see you outside of all the other women is do not sleep with him yet before making him invest into you. So, you want a man to invest into you before he get the booty. Before you give this man your booty, you want this man to invest into you. You want him to invest time into you and money into you. Time and money. So, you want this man to spend money on you and you want this man to also spend time with you, right? So, money and time. So you want this man to invest. So do not be opening your legs. Do not give him your kitty cat. Do not give him your booty yet. Before he take you out a couple times. 
before he spent some time, you know, consistently talking to you on the phone, consistently texting you, consistently showing up to see you, you know, proving his chivalry, you know, being a gentleman to you, you know, courting you, vetting you, really, you know, putting in effort to get to know you and investing into you before anything physical crosses that line, you know? Before y'all have sex, you want this man to invest into you. When a man invests time into you and money, like money when he just spending money on dates or buying you gifts, trips, giving you money, paying for stuff, whatever, you know? You want this man to invest into you time and money, and that's going to make him chase his investment. When a man chases his investment, that's going to make him want a return on his investment. When he wants a return on his investment, it's going to be harder for him to pull out the investment because he's worked so hard and he's invested so much into it. So if I just spent all this money on this girl, if I spent all this time and all this money, I took this girl out on date after date after date, $100 here, $200, $300, $500, a thousand dollars, whatever. I spent all this money. I spent all this time. I done built up this rapport with this woman. I'm not going to just stop talking to her or I'm not going to just back away or just, you know, nah, because I invested so much. I want to see this through. So it keeps this man working. It keeps this man on his toes. It keeps him interested and it makes him not get too comfortable because when a man gets too comfortable, a lot of times he feel like I ain't got to do nothing because the girl came to me and she gave me sex. She gave me her emotional support. She gave me her money. She gave me everything and I did not have to invest nothing into it. I didn't have to, you know, take her out for real. I didn't have to do nothing. So I got it so easily. It's easier for me to have sex with a woman and dump her and leave her and kick her to the curb after I have sex with her if I did not have to take her out. If I didn't have to take you out on no dates or I didn't have to talk to you on the phone or text you or get to know you and I just got free booty so easily, so fast, if you just give me your booty the first night or the first time you see me, first time you meet me, and, you know, you just come over my house or I go over your house and I never had to take you out. A lot of guys, they might not take you seriously because it was too easy. The booty was too easy. I don't take this woman serious. It's too easy, right? Now, if I had to take this woman out a couple times, I had to spend some money. I had to talk on the phone, text. I had to really get to know her, go see her you know, meet her family, stuff like that. I had to really invest into her, you know, before I even really got the booty for real, for real. That's going to make that man appreciate you more that he had to invest into you and he had to work hard to even get the reward, right? If he get rewarded with the booty so fast and he didn't even have to run in the race to get the trophy, then he going to be lazy the whole time. But if this man had to run in the race and run a whole marathon to finally get the trophy of the booty, then he going to appreciate that trophy of the booty more because he tried and, and he raced so hard and he earned it. He felt like he earned it. So he appreciated more. But if he didn't have to earn the booty, then he not going to appreciate it a lot of times. So you want this man to invest into you time and money, right? So that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final way how you as a woman, how you can make a man beg for your attention and crave for you and chase up after you and want you real, real bad is you want to have a life outside of that man. So this kind of go back to what I was saying in number two, right? In number two, remember when I said that guy, you know, he going to be, you know, having all them other women all in his face. You know, all those women chasing him all up in his face. But he looking at you because you over there sitting by yourself and you not over there chasing him. So when you're sitting over there by yourself, you in your own world. 
when you have a life outside of a man, it makes you instantly more attractive. When you got friends, when you got family, when you got hobbies, you know, you in school, you know, you you got your own business or, you know, you're climbing the corporate ladder at work. You get a promotion. You know, you're doing well in life. You got your own house, your own apartment. You got your own car. You know, you financially stable. You look good. You got your own stuff going on. You know, you happy. You going to the gym. You eating right. You glowing. You taking care of yourself. You look good, right? You looking good and you feel good, right? This man, he going to notice and he going to be like, whoa, when he see that your life is complete and he see that you're not desperate, you're not needy, it's like you don't need a man, you want a man, but you don't necessarily need to depend on a man. A lot of times that comes off as attractive because a lot of guys, you know, they're going to look at you like, oh, she can't take care of herself, you know? You know, a lot of guys, they want to see that a woman is able to take care of herself. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, some guys, when they see you and you can't take care of yourself or you're struggling to take care of yourself, some guys might be like, oh, no, I don't want her because, you know, she going to be all over me for my money or she going to be using me for my money, using me to take care of her, you know? But if you can take care of yourself and you got your own stuff going on, it's like that man like, wow, you know, I can admire her and I respect her more because she a busy woman. She the top of the top type of woman. She not no, you know, woman that I could just treat any type of way or a woman that's always available or a woman that's so easily just, I could just have her so easily. Nah, she is a woman that is of substance. She a boss woman. And look, I got to come with it. If I want to be with her, I got to come with it because her life already complete. She don't need no man. She want a man. But hey, I got a spot. I got I to gotta show her. I got to show her that it's a spot that I got to fulfill. I want to be her man because she is a powerful woman and I'm a powerful man. And if we came together, we could be a powerful couple, right? So when a man sees you, and you're independent, you take care of yourself, you got a life outside of just men in general, and you're happy, you know, you're doing your own thing, stuff like that, you got your own stuff going on. A lot of guys, they like, wow, this woman has been working on herself. She been healing from her past traumas. You know, you worked on yourself, you worked on your mental health. You know, you're overall just healed and you're good and you're surviving and thriving. So this man like, wow, I want to be a part of her life because that man, he's surviving and thriving and doing well in his life too. So he like, I want a woman that's also complete so we can come together and we can be, you know, a power couple, right? But if this woman is slacking in life, now, you know, now it's more of a burden on me to have to pick her up and stuff like that. Or that man might be afraid that you might use him. You know, he might be like, this girl trying to use me for my money. But if you got your own money, this man can not never accuse you of using him for his money. Because he like, this woman, she got her own money. She got more money than me. Or she got her own money. I know she's not going to use me for money. So, you know, we could be a power couple together. But again, a lot of those insecure men, if they insecure and they little boys, they're going to be intimidated because they're going to be like, hey, this woman, you know, I want to be more powerful than this woman. I want to be super powerful. And this woman is all the way down here. So I don't want her to even have nothing to her name. I don't want her to be independent. I don't want her to have her own stuff because then she's going to get too powerful you know, and then she not going to be able to sit down and be quiet and do whatever I tell her to do because I'm trying to use her, right? We're not talking about those types of men. Those types of insecure and weak men that get, you know, intimidated by a woman's success, that's only because they want to manipulate and they want to use women and control women because, you know, they want to be way on top and they want to be on this pedestal and the woman's all the way down here. You know, and if you are independent, that means you're too powerful. And that means you see eye to eye with him or you even see above him. And 
users and manipulators, they don't like that. They got to be on top. So they want a weak woman that ain't got nothing to her name, a broke, weak woman that ain't got nothing to her name, right? But if you a woman that got her own stuff and you got everything together, you a powerful woman and only a powerful man is even going to be able to handle, is even going to be able to, you know, sustain, you know, the type of woman that you are because they got to come with it. So you're only going to attract the top of the top men when you're the top of the top women, right? So ladies, those are my top five. Yes, five ways how you as a woman, how you can make a man beg for your attention and want you really, really bad. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me. And I'm out of here. So to the next video.